I decided to do a video that showed the powders that I got from Macari from the seller and then also show you the swatches that I did. And I'm not going to do the actual swatches that I'm going to save for another video. There's a reason why. So I decided to show you what I got. This is Know It All. No, I didn't put a label on top. Sorry, it rubbed off. But this is Know It All. And I do my swatches on the side and I use an LED based base coat. And this is Purple Tide. This is Velvet Overdrive. <laughs> kind of how it looks. It's like a smoky purple. Ooh. Get up, get up, get up. There we go. This is kind of like a burgundy little wine color. For every engine. Dance off. For every engine is pretty much, it's not showing up, but it's pretty much a rich red. There's a tiny hint of gold mica in it. Mica is a mineral from the earth that gives cosmetics their shimmer. And also, that's, yeah, mica powder with just colorants. Dance Off is a nice, really rich rose color. And again, it doesn't really show up like that, but it is. Yeah, you can't focus. You can kind of get the gist of the color. So I also have Free Fall. Hyperspace. This is a nice light baby blue. Hyperspace is one of my favorite colors of all time. If you look at my Instagram for January nails, my ring finger, God, it doesn't do it justice. My ring finger on my left hand. It's Vina Lisa, but still, it's a very similar color to this, minus the glitter. It's basically a rich midnight blue, sapphire blue. There's Jazz Note, and that is a royal blue with royal blue mica. There's G-Force. This is just a medium gray color. Not sure if I'm going to keep it. I don't know if I have a use for it. Yeah. So we have Paper Airplane, which is basically just a really stark radiant white. We have Smug Life, which, you know, probably Magoo named after himself. Ha 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 ha. Magoo is Greg Sallow, one of the owners of the company, president of the company. I call him Magoo because according to his brother Habib, he's blind as a bat and he can't drive. So, a very nice light pink shade. Smug Life is kind of like hmm, like a light dusty rose kind of color. It does have a slight shimmer to it. The shimmer is kind of, let me see, let me see here, uh, kind of, yeah. it's not gold. So yeah, that was Flash and Burn. I'll show you the swatch in a minute. It's just amazing. It's not quite white. This I call liquid silver, quicksilver. Why the hell it's called pop and lock, I'm not sure. But yeah, this is pop and lock. To me, it's quicksilver. Yeah. Or mercury. If you ever remember mercury thermometers, old mercury thermometers. Tinsel times two. When I went to swatch it, it was actually on with the monomer, it was actually darker than this. Come on, focus. Yeah, but using its LED base coat, it's actually a little lighter. So, okay, so let me show you the swatches with the monomer because they're actually a little bit darker, or the color's a little bit different. Okay, so let me show you. Okay, so let me get the lighting so it's nice and good. Okay, so as you can see, Free Fall's a little bit richer, Know It All's a little bit richer. Uh, that's Dance Off. That's Velvet Overdrive. You can see a little bit of shimmer. It's a tiny bit of gold shimmer. That's Pop and Lock. Again, I call it Liquid Silver. 
Quicksilver. That is hyperspace, and again, lighting is not doing it justice. That's Jazz Note. This is Velvet Overdrive. Yeah, it's a nice, rich color. And then that is Purple Tide. And it's actually a little bit lighter than my lighting is showing. Sorry, I have to use natural daylight because I don't have one of those fancy schmancy, um, fancy schmancy lights. So this is flash and burn. This is flash and burn. And this is what flash and burn looks like as a wash with monomer. And I put my red brush handle behind it so you can see it's not quite white. It is slightly milky. But when you use it dry on top of something, and I did that. Um, let me get this out. You know, it's, okay. If you'll be able to see it, if I can focus. You can kind of see it a tiny bit. See that red? That red is actually True Dip's Bleeding Love. And it's slightly warm. And I dusted it with an eyeshadow brush with Flash and Burn. And did put the mica on it. But it didn't lighten it. So you could use it for other colors to just add like a little bit of shimmer to it. This orangey color, that's Radar Warrior, which I will be selling. I am not into orange. I will also be selling Caution to the Wind and Jade Smoke. The Jade Smoke looks mint. It does not look like jade. Um, this is No Frills, which as you can see of all the colors that I swatched, this is the only one that marbled a little bit. There we go. And that is Smug Life. A little bit of the red got onto it from that color. That is Tinsel Times 2. See how it's a lot darker with Monomer? A lot darker. That is bright white. May not be showing up bright white, but it is bright white. And then that is G-Force. It's actually a little bit lighter than what it's showing. Oh, and that's Model 1's. So, but yeah. I just wanted to show what they look like swatched. Uh, Laura Couture has a video where she shows them, swatches them all, and she swatches most of these, except for no, except for uh, Smug Life and Tinsel Times Two. I think they were the only ones that she doesn't have. So I noticed we have the same ones, and then you might say, "Oh, this is redundant." Not really, because I wanted to see show people how. White, not white, pure white, this is the flash and burn. But I also want to see that this marble slightly. Her G Force marble a little bit. Mine didn't. So why I'm not sure. But I also want to say that these to move around were so great, it wasn't even funny. They were so stiff, they were not runny. If you found that model ones is really runny, which it is, sorry, it is. Um, these are not running at all in any way, shape, or form. In fact, you got to be a little quick about it to shape this stuff. Um, so yeah, this was the only one that was slightly runny. And this one. And this one. And this one. Notice they have a high mica content. And they were the ones that have, they were a little bit runny. All the others? No. I mean, normally I can do a really long rectangle like this one. This one was also slightly runny when I take that back. But look how small these rectangles are. They're kind of short. Normally I can do a long rectangle. I put a blob on, I manipulate it with the brush, the side, and uh, I couldn't do that with, the, with most of these. They were just drying so fast. And our house is cold. We're talking 62, 61 degrees. So, and I was sitting in front of a window... That was open with a window fan in. See, that's a window fan that's normally in there. So, but there's another reason why I wanted to do this video, in addition to Laura's. Because a lot of people don't do a lot of slipboard videos, let alone swatch videos. You know, right now it's Laura. So, I wanted to show this. It was from Rosalind. I bought it just for the heck of it. You know, and it, I put it with my cassie that I have left over. Um, I use it for practice and for overlays. So, but this was, this was empty. So I took Know-It-All. And I took Clear Acrylic from NSI, because that's all I had besides 
the glam and glitz. And look how much I made. I made almost a whole one ounce container from barely half a container or just about half a container of this. That's the big point of the video. You can take 15 grams of their color acrylic, make one ounce container or a little bit more. I'm just half. So you could probably take, um, take it and make almost 60 or more from it. Now, can you do that with all of them? I'm not sure. But with the colors, especially the ones that are richer in pigment like these, yeah. Ones that are lighter like this one and this the, this one. Uh, well, I'm sorry, this one and this one. Because they were that was a light pink. Maybe you might be able to make like 30 or 40. But the rest of them, you could probably do like, I don't know, 60. And to me, isn't that worth it? When it's on sale for 30% off for Black Friday and it's $7.60. Here's something else. Skyline Beauty Supply sells only the one ounce and surprise, Young Nails used to have these in two ounce containers. How much do you think you can make from two ounce containers? And they were unfortunately just on sale. I missed it. And the one ounce containers were on sale for $10. Well, not eight ninety nine. Normally the one ounce containers are eighteen ninety five. That's a bargain. And free shipping on their website is $45. It's, I don't know, I'm really looking forward to get some, some, some more colors. I'm not like some people who need to have every color of the rainbow. But there are a few colors that I would like to get. One in particular is Canyon Clover. I still don't have the damn lilac as a part of my collection. So anyhow, so I hope this was informative. For everybody um one of the things i didn't show that i will show because what i want to do is show how these work but i want to show how these work along with true dip and i have uh one from super nail i have two from cuchillo um and then i'm going to compare those guys to model ones to show you know how these color acrylics behave versus how that color acrylic behaves when I do that, I'm going to bring down practice nails that I did with these, the slick pours. Why? Because I discovered that when you pour their powder using the, again, using the LED base coat method, what you see is what you get. In other words, when you go to use monomer with it, it's a rich dark purple, well, smoky purple. You use LED base coat, it's kind of also smoky purple. But when you pour it over the nail, it's this. It's lighter. Same thing with one from Glam and Gl few from Glam and Glitz. Same with, you know, so we'll bring that up later. But, um, yeah, I hope this was informative. Um, I know a lot of people weren't happy with the boxes. Um, yeah. Well, that's the reason why I don't buy mystery boxes because I'm very picky if you're very picky, I know this is going to sound mean, but don't buy a friggin' mystery box if you're picky. Don't buy it. Or say, hey, maybe I can trade with somebody. Maybe I could sell it on Macari. Because guess what? Every time I saw somebody selling the uh, set of stamping plates, they flew. They just, like, flew. One woman was selling her mystery box, and that flew first out of the mystery box. The rest of the mystery box is still sitting there that flew so people say oh i don't do stamping it's passe um okay well maybe it's passe with you but when i went to um aliexpress to look up stamping plates near black friday before black right before black friday they had their huge 11 11 11 11 sale and things were sold out left and right stamping plates from full beauty and Butte and other people Sold out, sold out, sold out. So people around the world and in North America, they're doing it. So just because you don't do it doesn't mean other people don't. And so, you know, instead of, you know, selling your box for $400, that's a little shady. Uh, you know, maybe you should have kept it. Maybe you should have experimented with it. You know, 
little, those two caption polishes, you could have given them to a student for practice. So what if it's turned? Still use it for practice. So anyhow, because the reason why I bring this up is because she actually, Tracy actually went over this and said, the smaller mystery box is going to be 10 slick pours, including five of the slick pour, the new slick pours, the glitter slick pours. That's the reason why I didn't buy it. So I'm not really in the, the big chunkier glitter. Smaller glitter, that's okay. Big ones, no. And she said the other one was definitely going to be eight gel polishes and a base coat and a top coat. So when people were surprised, okay, well, are you deaf? Are you blind? They posted the video this Saturday before uh, the sale. So I don't know what to tell you. They posted it through the newsletter. They posted it through um, uh, the text messages. That's how I saw it. So I don't, you know, he posts a new, Habib posts a new video every Saturday. So I don't know why he didn't see it. You know, that, I'm, as mean as it sounds, that's on you. That's not on them. They told everybody. And she actually said, Tracy actually said, if you don't want if something about, if you really love glitter, you're going to like the small mystery box with the slick pores. And if you really want more glitter, you should get the big mystery box because there's going to be a lot of glitter. So why people, again, were surprised that the IA was in there, I have no idea. You know. If you had a problem with things being open, that's a separate issue. Uh, if you had problems with not getting a box, that's a separate issue. But arguing about the contents of the box, there's only two quote unquote problems. You don't like stamping? Again, sell them. Try it out. Whatever. God, peoples. I don't know. So anyhow, that's my rant. So I would really suggest getting these and trying these. These are cool. People are selling them on Macari, um, eBay. I don't know if I would get it on there. But, yeah, when the sale, the sale comes up in, the freak, man, just get them. They're cool. They're cool. They're awesome. So, but anyhow, <sighs> try and have a good day. So, anyhow, and rant. Later. Bye.